I made over $1.3 million on Freelancer.com and secured an additional $900,000 in the pipeline. In today's video, I will show you how you can launch a similar career or business, how I started, the different methods you can apply, the easiest way to organize yourself if you don't have any skills, and how to deliver projects successfully. So if you are interested in how to make a strong income while working from home, please keep watching until the end, because I promise this video will contain valuable information you won't find anywhere else. My journey towards financial freedom began when I was an employee at a digital agency. To be honest, my life was quite predictable, I was making minimum wage, and I was really lost in the crowd. I knew something had to change, and that's when I decided to take a jump into the world of freelancing. I'd had some exposure to pay-per-click advertising in my job, and I thought that I could leverage this skill to get projects, but oh boy, was I wrong. And let me tell you why I'm telling you all of this. I dedicated two full weeks to just bidding on projects, squeezing every minute out of every day, spending anywhere from 14 to 16 hours glued to my screen. I didn't really choose what type of projects, whether it was design, development, SEO or PPC. At this stage, it was far from glamorous. It was filled with constant rejections, exhausting hours, and a lot of moments of self-doubt. But I decided to simply push through it. It's critical to know that success doesn't come overnight. It requires grit, passion, and relentless work ethic. I went on as a manic for the next two weeks, bidding, adjusting, and learning from absolutely every single interaction. This phase was essential because it laid the groundwork for what was to come. It helped me understand the dynamics of the freelance market, figure out what potential clients were looking for, and refine my proposal strategy. In short, it was a crash course in the freelance marketplace. Even though it was challenging, every moment spent was a building block for the success that was to unfold. Finally, after weeks of relentless bidding and learning, my efforts brought some fruit. I won my first project, a packaging design gig for a mere $9. It may not seem like much, but this was a major breakthrough for me. It was my first opportunity to probe myself, understand that I might actually earn money online, and I was determined not to let it slip. I was completely mind blown. However, there was a twist. I had little to zero experience in Photoshop, and my understanding of packaging design was pretty much non-existent. But I saw this as an opportunity, and I took it upon myself to learn and deliver. I accepted the project and embarked on a steep learning journey. I taught myself Photoshop, researched packaging design, learned from online tutorials, and worked tirelessly to deliver the project. It took me like two whole days, meaning that I got approximately 30 to 40 cents per hour, but ultimately it resulted in a design that client loved. Completing this project was a huge confidence booster. It validated my decision to dive into the freelancing world and taught me a valuable lesson. There is no project too big or too complex as long as you're willing to learn. The success of my first project was a stepping stone. I realized there was more than one way to freelancing and a couple of models stood out. Working solo as a freelancer, drop servicing and building an agency. And really each one of them had its pros and cons. Working solo, you are the master of your destiny, but your earnings are limited by the number of hours you can work. On the other hand, drop servicing, which involves subcontracting, was an exciting prospect. This model led me to take on more projects and outsource them to skilled freelancers. I was the middleman, managing projects and making a profit. However, this model has its risks as you are heavily reliant on others' skills and timeliness. Not sure if you get the importance of this, but you practically do not need any skills to get it going. And there is the third option, building an agency, which was a daunting yet exciting prospect. An agency means hiring professionals on a salary, which adds an element of control, but also additional responsibilities. You become an employer with overheads and employee well-being to consider. However, it allows you to handle larger projects easier and have a more predictable workflow. A great advantage of working with contractors or employing professionals is being able to leverage their portfolios. With their consent, you can use their previous work to pitch to prospective clients. This added credibility without me having to do the work and gave clients confidence in the services I was selling. That was really brilliant. While starting up was a hurdle, the real challenge was scaling. Growth requires organization and a systematic approach, and that's where I innovated with a comprehensive contractor database. Using Google Sheets, I listed contractors per skill, and I thoroughly vetted each and every one of them before including them on the list. I set up communication lines using WhatsApp and Slack groups, uh, and I ensured seamless project discussions and bid evaluations. In the initial stages, this organizational system was time-consuming to set up, but it was a one-time effort with long-term rewards. It allowed me to quickly identify the right contractor for each project, save time, and reduce the chaos of managing multiple projects. 
an integral part of my scaling strategy was implementing a systematic reporting process. This ensured contractors would update me weekly and clients bi-weekly. Additionally, I occasionally brought in independent experts just to assess their quality of work and evaluate them. The choice to evolve from a freelancer or drop servicer to an agency owner was a leap of faith. With the creation of Brydog, my journey came full circle. From the days of solitary freelancing to leading an agency, each step really taught me more and more. Running an agency offered a unique blend of stability, control and scalability. It wasn't merely about making more money. It was about building something really bigger than myself, a brand with its identity and a reputation in the market. Owning an agency allowed me to bring a variety of professionals under one umbrella, increasing our capacity and range of services. Today, our products are used globally and I'm estimating that more than 100 million people were touched by one of the products that were designed and developed by us. Whether it was a site for Retaura and the Rubius, some landing pages for freelancer, solutions for Sky News reporters, or perhaps engineering solutions for Airbus, our reach is quite large. However, my approach didn't stop at hiring full-time employees. I continued to work with an array of talented contractors. They served as an elastic band, allowing me to scale up quickly when large projects come in. This blend of permanent staff and contractors provided a powerful combination of stability and flexibility. So, to wrap it all up, earning a substantial income online isn't about a get-rich-quick scheme. It's about strategy, patience, persistence, and smart scaling. The key is to start with what you know, build on your skills, and gradually expand your operation. Whether you choose to work alone, drop service, or build an agency, success is achievable if you are willing to put in the work. Remember, this journey is about keeping an eye on your ultimate goal while mastering the details along the way. From finding contractors and acquiring permission to use their portfolios, to relentless bidding, project management, and successful delivery, each step carries its own set of challenges and rewards. I hope that this video has provided you with actionable insights that you can apply in your own journey. Stay tuned for more content where we will delve in deeper into each topic discussed today. Until then, dream big, work hard, and remember, every successful journey begins with a single step. See you in the next one.